previously on Trekking Pals. <laughs> oh, crazy! <laughs> it's really pretty. I like the dark. I like the snow. I like the green. A lot of colors. A lot of weather. We're getting a full dose of nature today. We're Trekking Pals Habiba and Alex. And for the last few weeks, we have been calling Alaska home working from our little tiny Airbnb during the week and hitting the hiking trails during the weekends, exploring the last frontier, challenging ourselves, learning, and appreciating the opportunity to escape the heat of the desert. After an epic hike exploring the land of the Shugach National Forest, it's time to embark on a new off the beaten path adventure with Trekking Pals. Today we are exploring the 26 extraordinary glaciers of Prince William Sound on a day cruise from the Bay of Whittier. Ready? Let's go! The city of Whittier is located 60 miles south of Anchorage at the head of the Passage Canal of Alaska and is known for being the gateway to Western Prince William Sound. Now, in order to get to Whittier, you will go through the Anton Anderson Memorial Tunnel, the longest highway tunnel in North America. The tunnel is 2.5 miles long and opens on the hour until 11 p.m. every day. So you really have to make your plans accordingly. Today we are going for a half day cruise with Philips Cruises and Tours. Ohio, he's downstairs, you met him at the gate. Back at the bar, Captain Johnny, he's been with us five years, Chris seven years. There are a bunch of uh, sea lions on the two islands there.
The 26th Glacier Day cruise departs from Whittier. The vessel heads east out Passage Canal and north up Port Wells on the way to College Fjord through the ice-filled waters up to the front of Harvard Glacier. And if you are as lucky as we were that day, you can see massive chunks of ice carve into the sea. This ice flow is just... Is it, I said it was like a mile and a quarter across right now. I think he said it goes back like uh, 25 miles or something to its, uh, or 30 miles to where it starts. It truly is humbling to experience the magnitude of these glaciers up close. And all I was thinking to myself is how ridiculously minuscule we are in front of the power of nature. From College Fjord, we stopped at Esther Passage, a scenic area the different animals call home, bald eagles, black bears, and it's not uncommon to see orca whales or humpback whales sometimes. And of course, sea lions, harbor seals, sea otters, and a variety of birds in this narrow passage. On the return trip to Whittier was my favorite sighting. The vessel stopped at Kitty Wake Bird Rookery just across the bay from Whittier. And in this particular spot, over 10,000 birds inhabit these rocky cliffs each summer laying their eggs. They fish constantly in front of the rookery and then train the youngsters all the survival skills and tips necessary before returning to fly south for the winter. Watching the birds work and operate together as a team was not only breathtaking, but truly inspiring. Thank you guys for watching, we hope that you enjoyed today's episode and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for weekly vlogs about hiking and backpacking. Your trekking pals Habiba and Alex and we'll see you soon on a new adventure.